everyone, it's Amanda, and I am back. I have been missing from YouTube for a little while, but I am back now. Things have just kind of been a little bit crazy at home um, and a little busy, so haven't had a lot of time to do videos, and then when I did have time, I just didn't kind of didn't feel like doing them, so if I don't feel like doing a video, I don't do it because I don't want to make it something that I don't enjoy, so yeah. But I am back today for Friday Reads, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to read this weekend. I somehow, I have no idea how, I'm reading three books right now, which is kind of wild. It's more books than I like to read at a time. I've decided I'm more of a two-book kind of person, but I'm going to get through these. The first book is Joyland by Stephen King. I am loving this book. This book, if I were to describe it in one word, would be fun. It is such a fun book. It takes place at Joyland, which is an amusement park in South Carolina. And it's basically about a college-age boy who's kind of coming into his own, I guess. And um, he's learning the ropes of this amusement park. And now, now I'm kind of halfway through the book I'm on page 160. I'm about halfway through. He is, um, like the, the plot is changing and he's meeting new people. And so it's, it's going to be interesting to see which direction it goes, but I'm really liking this. If you are not a fan of Stephen King or maybe a wary to read his books because you've heard of the, the scariness of them, this would be a great book to read because this definitely, you can see his hand in this. But it's not scary. I mean, there's a couple moments that are a little bit creepy, but for the most part, it's just kind of a fun story. So I'm reading that. I'm also reading Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella, and I am not very far in this book, page 64. Um, I'm enjoying this book when I read it, but I'm finding that I don't really feel like picking it up that much. Um... It's not as funny as I expected it to be, and I don't know. I'm hoping that I'll enjoy it more as it goes. I'm, I'm giving it a chance to see, but I'm starting to think that maybe these lighthearted reads just aren't for me, and maybe I'm more of a, I like the dark, scary reads, but I don't know, because Joyland isn't like that. I don't know. I think it's maybe the chick lit aspect that isn't my thing. I have no idea. But anyway, I am reading this as well. I'm going to keep on with this. I think maybe it'll get good. I'm going to give it to about 150 pages, and if I'm still not feeling it, then I'm going to shelve it. The last book I'm reading is House Rules by Jodi Picot. I believe that's how you say her name. I think I've been saying it wrong all along. But um, let's see. I am on page... I have a different my magnetic bookmark in this page 200 exactly um and I'm really enjoying this book it is very very good it is about um a boy a teenage I think he's 18 and he has Asperger's syndrome which is high functioning autism and he has been convicted or accused or suspected of murder um and you don't really know what is going on or who really did it. And there's like a couple things, a couple people that I'm like, oh, I think maybe, I don't know. But um, it's interesting and I'm enjoying it. And I, I like this book. I have never read any books by this author. So I picked this one up because I thought it sounded really interesting. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. So those are the books that I'm reading this weekend. I think I should be able to get a lot of reading done this weekend because I um, really don't have anything planned, which is wonderful because um, last weekend with Easter was wonderful, but I really didn't read much of anything because we were constantly doing things for Easter and, and enjoying time with family. So I'm excited to just kind of relax this weekend and get some reading done. So yeah, those are my Friday reads for this week. And I thank you all for watching. And I'm going to be back with a massive 
April book haul because I haven't hauled any books for a while and I've really kind of missed doing that and um, a lot a lot to show so thank you for watching have a great weekend everyone we'll see you later bye